Yeah, them call me a fussy. I don't like to stop in my freestyle. For you, for you, and you, for you. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian and African boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Breaking news, guys. The BBB of C have now ordered David Adelaide to defend his English every title against Moses Tauman Nest. Force beats on Wednesday, 8th. January 2025. Well, Adelaide must face a Tauman nest uh, to defend his English every title. Adelaide came back with a bang uh, and um, stopping Solomon Dakers, you know, a guy that I, I believe, I, I don't know, I believed. Solomon Dakre was at least going to give Adelaide a big, big um, problem, basically, because both guys are up and coming, you know. Solomon Dakre, uh, we heard a lot about him, you know, about his potential and stuff, signed to Eddie Hain. Eddie Hain tipped him to be that that guy, but he got beat. And Eddie Hain, I liked Eddie Hain's uh, statement afterwards and say, listen, People were saying, why would you put him in there so 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 soon? I'm like, then he's like, huh? What do you mean? You have to tell listen, if you cannot beat Adele yet, then it means you are not good enough or you had a bad night. So what you have to do is go back and um uh, recruit, you know? Recover, recuperate, you know, then do your thing, you know, like get yourself back together. It happens. Everybody loses. I like that now. Uh so but Moses Itauma. Let's not get it twisted. Both are of Nigerian descent. Okay. Itauma's mom is from Slovenia. Um, he was born in Slovenia to a Nigerian father, you know. Um Adele born in the UK to Nigerian parents. Okay. Itauma is a British guy right now, because he was British passport. His brother is also a fighter. Adele, same. And um, Slovenian, Nigerian, or British, Slovenian, Nigerian. I don't know how to say it. And then Adele being British, Nigerian. Um, Both are yet to represent Nigeria, though. Let's keep it right here. I don't see Tauma associating himself with Nigeria yet. Um, I think a lot of these foreign-born, you know, Nigerians, uh, they've... They are changing a little bit, bit by bit. No, because I, I'm listen because of this current situation in the country and stuff like that. We also have one politician who is a coon. Uh, I think her name is Kemi or something. So you know, crap about Nigeria. I just look at her and laugh. Man, you are in a country where I me, mean, we, we, we that fought the British in 1987. We know about the British her. Huh? So there is no. Thing in on hell that will make an adult man say, Oh, no, I'm not a Nigerian. Oh, I don't respect that. Nah, man, we know the history. But let's get to this right now. I don't want these two Nigerian uh, breed, you know, uh, both have Nigerian descent. I don't, I don't want them to fight. But Itauma might be too much for Adele right now. Adele should building um just coming you know he came from a loss to beat solomon solomon Dakre, so i think he should keep fighting um keep building or he might just go for it and i don't know man, if he wins that fight but it's a big big fight dangerous fight 50 50 fight no way let's get around here kine Chuku to give his take on this right here uh kine Chuku, you know of moses itauma Right? I think you do. Yeah, I know Itama. I've seen his last two fights. And you also know of David Adele. Yeah, I know of David Adele. So you also you, you do know that both of them are of Nigerian descent, right? 
Yeah, but both of them are under Queensbury, she. Yeah. Um, Queensbury. Well, Frank Warren might put him there, right? Nah, Frank Warren hasn't made any money off David Adelaide yet. He's not putting him in. He's going to go to post beat. So, I know you sound optimistic, but the fight is not going to happen. But Harold if it happens, it does, it's not going to happen. Because the reason why it's not going to happen is that Moses um, Moses fights on the twenty second. Moses is going to Moses is going to have is going to come out with an injury, except he pulls out of the fight on the twenty second. He's going to come out with an injury, or he's going to come out with something. Listen, Moses Talma is fighting Dempsey McKean. That's a dangerous fight right there. So what makes you think he wouldn't fight that delay? I think he won't fight him because of politics. Bro, not- Daisy McKean is more dangerous than Adelaide. It's more expensive than Adelaide. So, yeah, bro. I don't know. As less of Slovenia, it's Slovakia. Slovakia. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Czech Slovakia, they all used to be together, bro. I know so. the accidents of Carrot Top. I know the accidents of Frank Warren. Frank Warren will never put any dangerous, any, any heavyweight prospect in a match where the prospect hasn't made really made money for him that decision about um the decision about um the decision sorry here comes my daughter to the stop the decision about um adelaide and um what's his name the ipswich guy was a talky decision it wasn't a frank warren decision so he directly went to Adelaide and directly went to what's his name? Is it Fraser? It's not Fraser Clark, the other guy. He directly went to him, and that's how they negotiated for the fight. Frank needs to make money off David Adelaide before he puts him in a dangerous fight. I want that fight to happen with Moses Tama, but when I know the antecedents of work, watching Frank Warren for more than two decades, I don't think it's going to happen yet. I think it's going to happen. Later next year, I think it's going to happen probably at this on summer or late next year. I don't think it's going to happen immediately. That I I just hope I'm I i do not want to bust anybody's bubble, but I know Frank Warren. Frank Warren is not going to put David Adelaide in any dangerous fight. He wants to build him up again. Similar to how he wanted he wanted he built um Daniel Dubois up again. He didn't put Daniel Dubois straight straight against a top three heavyweight he built him up so you have to build him up again he's going to try and build him up again trust me so that's why i say that thing it doesn't look if it's under if he's under frank warren it doesn't look like if it's going to happen i hope it happens but it's not happening immediately it's going to happen during summertime or during this thing adelaide needs to make money for frank warren right now he hasn't made real money the only money he ever made was the fight in Riyadh last year that he got knocked out so he needs to build him up, make a little bit more money before he fights Moses Itama. And it's a big risk as well. Moses can get um, clipped with something. Moses hasn't fought anybody in the top 10 or top 15. David is in top 10 or top 15. No matter how you cut it, whether it be WBO, WBC, WBA or IBF. He's in top 15 heavyweights. It's a dangerous thing because it's heavyweight boxing. One shot, your lights, your lights are out. Ask Daniel Dubai against Kevin Larena from South Africa. One shot, he, he floored him. He was very, very surprised because Larena is coming in career heavyweight, career cruiserweight. You know, it's heavyweight boxing. That's my take on it. Yeah, man. <clears throat> so, um, but uh, I don't want him to fight yet. Uh, like you said, David Adele hasn't really made enough money for. For Frank Warren, both we've seen Frank Warren put in his two fighters together, you know, fight, you know, uh, then the boy fought Joe Joyce, and um, where we know that Joe Joyce, uh, Joe Joyce beat Dubois, you know, made him quit as well. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned for more exclusive videos right here, and God bless you all. Cheers.